hi guys welcome back again to the channel today my name is osara May, and if you're here for the first time thank you so much for stopping by hit on the subscribe button and also please turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever i post a new video so in today's video i want to quickly share with you guys how to go about drafting a basic bodice pattern now this is not the first basic bodice i'm drafting on my channel i actually decided to share this particular one because it's been very helpful uh, with my corsets and my bustiers lately and it actually works for every size so if you're interested in learning how to go about drafting this pattern keep on watching and let's get started and mind you i'll be using this particular pattern a lot during the course of the year for every tutorial that i'm going to be working on so definitely you want to see this and yeah so guys to start off this tutorial we're going to be making use of our pattern paper of course and also you need a ruler and a curve if you do not have a pattern master and also you'll be needing a tape rule your marker and of course a pencil now the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to just draw a straight line across this top area here this is going to be our shoulder line so as you can see i'm just labeling it the shoulder here this is the shoulder line so from this line i'm going to go ahead and take all the other measurements so from the shoulder line i'm going to come down to my bust point which is 10 inches i'm going to make a mark here shoulder to bust point for me it is 10 inches i'm going to go ahead and mark it here and also i'll go in again and mark it as well so i'll be able to get a very straight line now still placing it here i'm going to come down to my under bust shoulder to under bust for me is 10, 13 inches and as you can see i just marked it now for my front my shoulder to waist in front i had 16 inches this is quite different from what i had on my back when i measured but let's just take it now that shoulder to waist in front for me is 16 inches so i'll go ahead now and draw straight lines across so now i'm going to quickly label my line the bust line the under bust line and the waistline now for the length of our blouse from the shoulder you're going to determine how long you want your blouse to be for me i am going to be using 23 inches i just also drew a straight line across and i'll just label this line the hemline okay so guys now we're done marking all the horizontal lines so we're going to go ahead and start adding all our vertical measurements so on the shoulder line i'm going to divide my shoulder measurement into two equal halves go ahead and do the same thing your shoulder measurement divided by two so after doing that from the shoulder line again from the middle i came in by three inches and i'm coming down by three inches as well and i'm going to use my curve rule to create a round neckline so go ahead and do the same thing this is just a basic neckline so guys after drawing out our basic neckline i'm going to come down to the shoulder point here i'll be coming down from this point by one inch for our shoulder slope because our shoulder is not straight it always has a kind of slant so we always need to come down by one inch for that slant okay so now for our armhole depth how i normally do this is to divide my bust measurement by six and whatever i have i add 1.5 to it so when i have when i did that i got seven inches so from the shoulder slope i am coming down by that seven inches and i'm going to also go ahead and extend that line across the whole paper just like you see me doing like this and i'm going to label it the chest line so now guys from this shoulder slope here i'm going to draw a straight line to meet the chest line here just like you see me doing like this go ahead and do the same thing so now i am going to take a measurement from the shoulder slope down to the chest line remember that earlier we had seven inches i'm going to divide that measurement into two equal halves and make a point so from this point i just got I'm going to go in by half of an inch okay go ahead and go in by half of an inch and on this chest line what you're going to do is divide your bust measurement by four and make a point there so your bust measurement divided by four use it to make a point on the chest line now i'm going to be using my curved root to connect the top of the armhole the middle point we got and then the point we have on the chest line so just go ahead and do the same thing you see me doing like this so guys now the next thing i want to do is we're going to be making our dart okay you're going to divide your bust span measurement into two and for me that divided into two is 3.5 inches so i'm marking that 3.5 inches on the bust line on the bust line chest line and on the hemline and i'm going to use a straight ruler to create a straight line and connect all the points so once that is done we're going to take in our dart and you always take in your dart on the waistline 
so on the waistline here i'm going to be going in by 0.75 on both sides of this line you can use one inch on both sides if you're very busty but for me i normally use 0.75 and sometimes i use half an inch on both sides okay so once you're through with that from the hemline you're going to come in by either three inches or you go up by two inches for me i'm going up by two inches from this point now i'm going to be connecting all the points together like a dot so you see how i'm doing it from one leg of the dot here i'm going to connect a straight line slanted towards the bust point i'll do the same thing on the other side here and then for the other part i'm going to connect from here towards this point here so now guys we want to quickly add our body measurements okay so on this chest line you're going to divide your bust measurement into four and make a point there now on the waistline you will divide your waist measurement into four once you've made that point you're going to measure the dart intake you have here and you're going to replace it back so from that point i had earlier i'm going to add my dart which is one and a half inch i'm going to mark it here okay now on the hemline you're going to divide your hip measurement by four and you're going to make a mark there so now i'm going to connect all those marks so from the chest line here i'm going to connect down to meet the waistline and then from this waistline i'll connect to meet the hemline so go ahead and do the same thing you're going to notice that you have a very tiny curve and if you're very curvy you notice that the curve actually shows as well so this is what mine looks like now what i want to do is i am going to be having a side dart on this particular pattern So from the bust line, I'm coming down by 2 inches, which is the difference between my shoulder to waist in front and my shoulder to waist at the back. Okay, so now I'm going to connect from this point into the bust line. So this space I just created here is going to be my bust dart. Okay, so this is basically all for the drafting of the front pattern. I'm going to go ahead and cut out this pattern right now and we'll go ahead and draft the back pattern hey what the hell why you hanging on the roof all by yourself so guys to draft the back pattern of course you'll be needing another piece of pattern paper as you can see here so just like i did in front i'm going to draw a straight line across again which is going to serve as my shoulder line so i just labeled it sh and from the shoulder line i am going to mark down to my bust point which is also 10 inches even for the back pattern okay so now the difference between the front and the back is actually on the waistline from the shoulder to waist at the back my measurement is 14 inches remember that when we were drafting the front pattern shoulder to waist in front was 16 inches now shoulder to waist at the back is 14 inches if you measure this separately on your body you are going to actually notice that there is a difference so now as you can see i just drew straight lines across and i labeled them bust line and waistline Line. so because of the difference between the shoulder to waist on at the back and the shoulder to waist at the front you cannot just go ahead and draw the uh, hip line straight like that so what you do is from this waistline in front you're going to measure down to the hip line so what i have here is seven and a half inch okay so now from this waist at the back i'm going to go ahead and mark that seven and a half inch here and draw a straight line across so guys if you do it like this you realize that by the time you are done sewing everything and taking away the side dart on the front pattern everything actually becomes the same length and you notice that one is no longer than the other so just like i did on the front pattern you can see i am creating a neckline so i went in by three inches on this side just like we did on the front pattern we went in by three inches but for the depth of the back pattern i decided to come in by one inch okay so the neckline for the back pattern is going to be higher so as you can see i'm using my curve to create the very small neckline and for the shoulder that i've already divided into two here i am going to come down by one inch just like we did on the front pattern and then have a shoulder slope then i'm going to go ahead and create my armhole as well everything i'm doing now is just going to be the same thing as we did on the front pattern so i'll label this the chest line and then create a straight line from the shoulder slope down to the chest line and then create my armhole for the back 
so guys now the next thing i want to do is we're going to be creating our dart now on this front pattern remember that we our dart actually started from the bust line here not on the chest line but for the back pattern is going to be starting from the chest line okay i am going to be creating half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is also half of the bust pan measurement which is three and a half for me i just created this point i will use a straight ruler to connect all of them to give me a straight line just like we did on the front pattern so now i'm going to take in my dart note that dart intakes are always taken on the waistline okay so just like i did on the front pattern i'm going in by 0.75 on both sides and then i'll come up by two inches from the hip line and from here i'm just going to connect my dart to meet the chest line here and then down to the point i had underneath the waistline so just go ahead and do what you see me doing right now so now i'm going to add my body measurements to the back pattern on the waistline i'll replace the darts just like we did on the front pattern everything is exactly the same once you're through with this just go ahead and cut it out and you notice that i didn't add any stitching allowance to this particular pattern i didn't add stitching allowance to the side i didn't add zipper allowance as well if you want to use this pattern you can decide to place it on your fabric and add the allowances that you need if you want a zipper at the back you add the zipper allowance as well um so yeah um that's basically all for the drafting of this pattern when you put them together you're going to notice actually that one is longer than the other the front pattern will look longer than the back pattern but by the time we take in the side dart everything is going to actually become the same so this pattern actually works perfectly for corsets and bustiers so that's why i wanted to share it with you guys today because i intend to use it a lot this year um in making the outfits that i'll be making so thank you so much for watching this video bye